Hello, this is going to be yet another unboxing of the Blue J9L, a cheap, relatively cheap, budget-friendly Android smartphone with VOLTE capabilities made by the company Blue, B-L-U, specializing in budget-friendly smartphones and non-smartphones, basic phones. However, this particular device is a smartphone, the Blue J9L, that is the model name, made by the company Blue. This is the third phone, uh, the exact same model that I'm buying. Two of my family members have this phone already. This is the third one, and I like the ones that we had before. They seem to work very well. For us, again, again, that's just our own experience. So we decided to buy a third Blue J9L. So we're going to go through the setup process very quickly. Nothing really much to say here, except it's a standard Android setup. And I do like this company because of the fact that they make affordable, relatively affordable, that's, that word is subjective, smartphones. Um, which are especially good for people like me, who really only need some simple apps, maybe simple simple web browsing here and there, but I don't really play games, I don't really use apps that would require maybe high performance, just some calling, texting, simple applications, and I don't really feel like I need a very expensive phone for that, this one being maybe a little under $100, $90, something like that, the price fluctuates, but really not more than $100 for this phone, I don't know if the price is going to go up, but very happy I have this finally here for the third member of our family. Uh, VOLTE capabilities, Android, cell phone, not looking to spend lots of money here. So we went again with this company, Blue. We've bought several phones from them. Uh, not all gonna be perfect. Again, just keep in mind, that I'm not trying to guarantee that you're gonna have a great experience with this company or this particular phone. This is just my own personal experience. I like these phones because they're cheap. I don't really use a smartphone that much. So I figured why buy something that costs hundreds of dollars when I can have something that will allow me to do what I need to do, simple applications, and not have to spend too much money. So without further delay, we're just going to talk about this phone, go through the setup process, unboxing, very minimal accessories, probably, as you can see here, not a very large box. The Blue J9L made by the company Blue. This is uh, certainly a, keep saying the word certainly, uh, not a small screen, but which might be good or bad, maybe less portability, but large enough screen that you can clearly see everything. We're just going to go through everything here, turn on the phone, set it up, and then off screen, we're just going to uh, change some of the settings to better to better suit my needs. But you've got obviously the phone, which is very light because the battery is not inserted. Here is the device itself, the blue J9L. It says it right there, J9L. Here's the camera with the flash. Uh, does it say how many megapixels? I think it says 8, eight megapixel uh, main camera. There's a case included, a, a simple case included. We're going to put that on momentarily. Here's a little cover sheet that you can remove where it lists some specifications. Six inch display. Um, I guess 32 gigabytes of memory, 2 gigabytes of RAM camera. Uh, Android operating system. This is an Android phone. Blue smartphones. Blue blue products. This is a blue phone. So we're just going to take this off. We're going to insert the battery and we're going to turn it on. Hopefully there is some battery life here. So we're just going to do this. Inside the box, we're going to see where we have some basic accessories. You've got your adapter. Uh, I mean, you've got your, your wall charger uh, attachment with your USB cable. So we're going to just show you in a minute what that <clears throat> what that is for. Your USB cable, you definitely need this. So what this does, it, it charges your phone and also serves, I mean, when you connect it to the computer, it charges your phone and it also serves as uh, the mechanism uh, that you'll use to transfer your uh, any files to your phone or to your computer. So from your computer, sorry, from your phone to your computer or from your computer to your phone, transferring files, like let's say you record a video and you want to transfer it to your computer. You will need this, um, I'm sorry, the USB cable. And then what is also included, uh, what's wrong with me? Okay. What's also included is this uh, separate attachment that you can connect to the USB cable that allows you to charge the phone much more efficiently. That's the best way to charge your phone in the, the, um, the outlet um, in, in a wall. So, a, or a, um, uh, surge protector. So all, all you're doing really here is you've got your USB cable, you've got your, your your adapter, your little attachment. So you just connect the two and here you go. Now you can plug this into a wall and to an outlet and to more efficiently charge your phone. This 
and it goes into the outlet this end goes into your phone and now you've got your charger and then of course take it off right here and you've just got your USB cable to connect to your computer so that's good we have our charger best way to charge the phone in the in the outlet just much faster but I do recommend not charging it too far after 95% you don't want it to be charged saying 100% charged this will get very very hot from my experience and I'm kind of afraid to think what will happen if I keep it charged too long after it gets to 100% so just make sure you don't charge it for too long okay now what we've been waiting for here is this huge battery and ooh, we have a sticker we have a sticker we have a battery so we're gonna insert the battery this is one of those phones that it comes apart so you just have to kind of make sure you know how to how to open the device not not always the easiest thing to do but you have to find that little see that there's some talking around right here see that that little um the little I don't know how to describe it, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting the word for it. But right here, you have to put your nail here and then just pull it apart. Not always the easiest thing to do. Oh, there's also another one here. Right here, see? Okay, you want to put your nail here and then just pull the phone apart. It's not, it's one of those phones that comes apart. Sometimes there's a different way to um, remove the, um, remove the, sometimes there's a different way to access the, the SIM card slot and the, um, the memory card slot. So that's what we're doing here. We, we just kind of, we pressed here and then we put our fingernail here and then we just pulled the phone apart. Uh, this one's relatively easy. I've done it a few times. So thankfully I've kind of have experience with this, experience with this now. And we want to just put the battery. Let's get, let's line it up. That's what we want to do. We'll line it up here. I think it's going to go, uh, should be fine, right? Okay, perfect. There's the battery. SIM card will do a little bit later. Um, SIM card will be what well, will you insert the SIM card uh, either it's probably going to be here just to allow you to get your cell phone service. Other than that, this will certainly work without a SIM card. So we're just going to put the phone back. Now that we put our battery in, and make sure it's all there. You can see me right here. Uh, okay, that's our actual phone with the battery. We've got a little startup guide, a uh, manual you can read if you want for the blue J9L. There it is, just some uh, information maybe about the buttons. Um, a different language, Spanish language here. And uh, there's really not a whole lot here. You just have to kind of, I guess, turn on the phone, look at the settings, and you know, just decide for yourself what, what your favorite settings are. That's the manual. What else do we have here? We have some... Uh, SIM card installation guide. This is a very helpful if you've never used a smartphone and sometimes smartphones are different in how you have to insert the SIM card. So I do recommend if, if, you're, if you're not familiar, if you get other phones, just make sure you read about how to insert the SIM card because sometimes that is, um, that is a process sometimes depending on what kind of phone you have. Some phones will not, you're not able to pull them apart. There's a little tray that comes out when you insert a little metal object. So just understand that you should always read the instructions about how to insert the SIM card. Here's a little screen protector and here's the last thing in our, the last, I guess you can call it an accessory, but it's nice, nice that they included this, this little plastic case here that you're just going to put around your phone and is going to go to the, where the camera is. And there you have your phone all ready to go. This little case, very convenient. And that's it. The box is, uh, box is all empty. Empty box. Okay, so now we've got the blue J9L. We're ready to turn on, ready to start the setup process. Sorry for this very long video. Let's see if there's some battery life in here. We're going to hold down the power button, which is on the right, if you're holding the phone up. We're going to really just go through the basic setup process very quickly, and then that's it. Then you're ready to use your phone, play, with, uh, play around with the settings, insert your SIM card, and start getting your cell phone service. Again, this is, I think it's a six inch display, really just for less than $100, which is what we purchased it for, I'm very happy with this product because I'm not looking to spend so much money when I honestly barely even use my phone for texting. <laughs> Some calls here and there, but just goes to show you, I mean, you don't have to buy one of those quote-unquote well-known brands, more expensive brands. Blue is perfectly fine, not perfect, but it's it's very good. So we're going to go through the typical... Oops, sorry, I just keep hitting the camera, uh, the tripod, rather. Um, go through the typical setup process uh, with Android. Hi. Uh... 
Hi there, United States uh, English language, okay. So, connecting to a mobile network, do you want to insert your SIM card? Uh, we'll do it later. Uh, right now we're just going through the setup process. Sorry for the uh, the bad lighting in here, I apologize. We're going to skip that for now. It's going to ask us uh, mm, so, some general just questions. I mean, feel free to just... Um, read these asking if you want to connect to Wi-Fi uh, showing us our Wi-Fi networks available we're gonna skip we're gonna skip the Wi-Fi Eastern uh, um, okay we're, we're gonna adjust the time later uh, you can have your uh, uh, some let's see uh, Okay, we're gonna we're gonna adjust it later, or the time we're gonna have it later. So we're just gonna do that. Okay. Um. <laughs> Sorry, just going through our. Um. Uh, sure. Okay. Just going through the setup process, not really a whole lot here. Uh, we're going to skip this, enter a, a pin if you want to lock your screen so that, um, I mean, so that in order to start using your phone whenever it's uh, been asleep, maybe, or turning it on, they have to enter a pin. So that's just an extra layer of security if you're just afraid. Not afraid, but just, just want to make sure that <clears throat> in order to access the your device, in order to access your device once it's turned on, there can be this sort of pin number, or think of it as a password, to quote unquote unlock the phone so that it can be used, and only you will know the pin number. So let's just skip that for now. We'll do that later. Almost there, I think. Uh, if you want to sign up for notifications from the company Blue regarding their products, it's fine. Uh, let's just click next. You don't need to. I'm not going to do that right now. Now that you've just set up your phone, remember it was asked if you want to insert a SIM card, we can do that later so that you get your cell service. You asked if you want to set up, connect to a Wi-Fi network, we'll do that later. But here it is. You've got some basic apps that are here already. You've got your camera, some, some other applications. If we just scroll down, settings, oops, settings. So you've got your home button here to go or back button here. You can, you can, um, you can go scroll down over here, swipe down at the very top and it tells you some notifications some 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 uh, some 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 information about your phone and then you can go back so this is it you can feel free to move applications around like if you want to put your camera here just press and hold and just move move uh, apps around here's your camera you have this 8 megapixel camera so you can take photos there's also video mode photo mode and that's it. So your typical Android uh, device, not a very expensive phone, but here it is. The Blue J9L, this was just an unboxing video if you just want to see what was in the box. But other than that, um, feel free to go to the settings and just look around and see. So we're going to put settings. Let's just say I want to put the settings here. I want to put it here at the top. So you can just feel free to move apps uh, around. Uh, if you want to just move your, let's see, your phone here. Okay. Um, okay. So that's it. This is the Blue J9L uh, budget friendly unlocked Android. A budget friendly unlocked Android smartphone made by the company Blue BLU. They specialize in uh, budget friendly phones, both basic phones and smartphones. This is just one of their many products. Six inch. Six inch display, quite a large phone if you're not used to these large phones. VOLTE capability, which is works for the service that we use. We use a, a, a cheap kind of red cell phone plan called Red Pocket Mobile. Uh, quite a large display. I like this phone. We've had this is our third one, and hopefully, this one will work well just like the others have. The Blue J9L, thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Just an unboxing video, not a review, but there's probably a review on our channel. Somewhere, if you just like to see my thoughts, but my thoughts are just a seems to be a reliable product for the money, and of course, uh, the benefit of that, oops, the benefit of that uh, being you're not um, spending that much money on a phone. So let's just turn off the phone. Um, trying to turn off the phone, power off. Yep, that is it. Thanks for watching this video. Blue J9, the Blue J9L Android smartphone unboxing.